Welcome back to Quick Take Charge. I'm Tim Stanovec. The world's largest online retailer is pushing its way into selling prescription drugs. The brand new Amazon Pharmacy will let shoppers pay using their health insurance, and Prime members who don't use their insurance are eligible for discounts on the Amazon site, or at about 50,000 pharmacies that are participating in the program. On the phone to discuss is Bloomberg Health reporter Angelica Levito in New York. Angelica, it's great to have you on Quick Take. Amazon has disrupted so many industries. The list just goes on and on. But healthcare, it's a $4 trillion industry. Do you think healthcare is, is too big for Amazon? I don't think that anyone can ever discount Amazon, of course. As you mentioned, they have disrupted so many industries before. However, there are some barriers to this particular market. So what's interesting about this Amazon Pharmacy offering is that, like you mentioned, you can use your insurance, but you also don't have to. And Amazon will show you the price of using your insurance and the price Mm. without using it. And then if you're a Prime member you get the added bonus of a discount off that price. And so this is not really how we pay for prescription drugs right now. Typically, you have your insurance, you go into your pharmacy, and let's say you're using, or you're picking up a generic drug, you'll pay a copay. You know, maybe it's $5, $10. And so what Amazon has to do is try to convince people to dabble with this new system where maybe you don't use your insurance and maybe you'll start to see that it costs less if you use if you don't use your insurance than it would if you did. But Americans are not really used to that. So that could be something could be somewhat of a barrier for them. But of yeah. course, as you said, Amazon, you know, has a history of doing this and has a history of shaking things up. Yeah, and I think, you know, when it comes to Amazon, they've 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 sort of trained us to shop differently for things and and you know, who knows, they may be able to do it for healthcare. I think a big question that that I have and certainly a lot of in- investors have too is what this means for uh, large-scale healthcare companies that are established and are doing this already. CVS, for example, Walgreens, Boots Alliance. Uh, investors are, are sending their stock lower this morning on the news that Amazon is going all in on this. Uh, what does it mean for competitors? Well, what it means for competitors is that they might have to respond and this could threaten their margin. So like you mentioned, the large um, drugstore companies. Of course, they're competing here, and this could force them to try to lower their prices um, and offer some new things to compete here for customers. Because, you know, we're in this situation where this whole pharmacy system is so confusing and so complex and costs people a lot of money. And we might have people that look at this and say, I want something different. And then, you know, if you think about just the structure, Amazon's doing this without any stores. They're not paying for leases on 10,000 locations across the country. They're probably not paying nearly as many pharmacists. And so they have the advantage here to take out some of those costs from the system that will be hard for CVS and Walgreens to respond to as quickly and as aggressively. Healthcare data and, and is very private. Angelica, I think to a lot of people, they don't want others knowing the details, of course, of, of what they're doing at the doctor or why they're at the doctor or what they're being treated for. I wonder if, there, if there's some sort of risk to Amazon that consumers might not want Amazon knowing uh, what prescriptions they're taking. That's a really good point, and that could very well be a risk. I think that people are getting more comfortable generally with doing some of this stuff online um, with the pandemic. CVS, Walgreens, they are trying to boost their digital offerings. If you are a CVS customer, you know, you might, or a Walgreens customer, you might already have your app which has all your prescriptions in it. So I think people are getting more comfortable sharing some of this information electronically. But like you said, do they feel differently about Amazon specifically? Maybe. Bloomberg Healthcare reporter Angelica Levito, thanks so much for your time and for joining us on Quick Take this morning. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.